All right, welcome to our Saturday morning NBA updates. I'm your host, Darion Robinson, and this is Entirely NBA, hosted by Entirely Media. All right, look, man, y'all got to stop with this whole Kevin Durant isn't a leader bullshit. Kevin Durant isn't a leader, and at least not in the traditional sense or the way we expect him to be. And really, we can't even blame, bro. He spent the last 16 seasons basically showing and telling us that he just simply wants to be a hooper. And to his credit, it has worked out. I mean, Kevin Durant is what? A 13-time All-Star, MVP, two-time Finals MVP, two-time champion. And at the age of 35, is damn near having the top three or four best season of his career. I mean, dude is averaging 30 points, six boards, six assists, shooting 52% from the field and 48% from three. That's the second best he's ever shot in his career. I mean, at 35, bro, is nice, right? And so it's like, what more do you want from me? <laughs> you know, but in my opinion, I think there's multiple ways to lead a team and he's chosen to do it via how he plays and through his work ethic. I mean, and shit, if that alone isn't contagious to others around him, then what the fuck are we really doing? There's few players in the league that work as hard as this man does on their craft. And granted, that's what separates the superstars from the all-stars. So when we look at this shit, my question is, how can we completely just rule him out of the leadership discussion when you've heard and seen him be vocal on the court with issues, right? We've seen that. You've heard him address issues in post-game interviews. And though we technically can't see behind the scenes, his teammates have never complained about that aspect of his game, right? So we can only assume that he leads in a way that works for him and those around him. No, KD isn't the leader that we want him to be, right? But that's not the reason the Suns are having issues right now. That comes down to health, it comes down to lack of depth, and they're still trying to find their identity. And lastly, yeah, leadership. But that's also why you're paying Frank Vogel, what, 31 million over five years? So at what point do we hold these coaches to a higher standard of leadership? I mean, while Devin Booker's having a hell of a year, I mean, dude is averaging, what, 27 points, five rebounds, and eight assists, which are the highest he's ever averaged in his career. He's also missed one third of the season due to injury. <laughs> Let's not even get started on Bradley Beal. Injuries are a part of the game. This we know and understand well. But from a team aspect, I mean, if you've ever played a sport, especially at a high level, you know and understand it's hard to find a true identity, become comfortable with each other, learn tendencies, and above all, win when you're not getting PT together on the court. And shit, well, it's even harder when there's no real production from the bench guys. I mean, shit, the Suns still need that six, seven, eight guy to come in and do the little things correctly and consistently at a high level. So they're still looking for that. I mean, maybe KD's frustrated in that regard. Maybe he isn't. Who's really to say but, you know, Durant himself? Either way, the man's having a hell of a season from a personal level, and let's just hope Phoenix can uh, can figure it out before the All-Star break. They're currently ninth in the West behind the Lakers at 16 and 15 after a much-needed win last night against the Hornets. So let's just see how it goes. Either way, man, let me know in the comments below, is Kevin Durant's leadership an issue for the Suns or an issue altogether? And uh, thank you for tuning in to our Saturday morning NBA updates. I'm out.